stupid. It's stupid. Okay, let's get it. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, let's get it right this time. You can't keep going that. that. You okay. can. Okay. okay. Sorry. You confused because you smile. I haven't done anything. It's difficult. Don't say nipple, all right? And Jasmine's scratching at the door. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, Jazz, you can go on YouTube. I'll well, get it right this time. Okay, I'll get it right. So it's difficult to do them all right. right. Don't okay. say nipple, please, because right. it makes me laugh. I've got to go lol, but I can't. Oh, you can do that. You can do that if you want. It's all part of fun. You can put Jasmine. All right, let's have a nipple. You say me and my friend Jasmine. <laughs> That's okay, really... let's start again then. <clears throat> go. Hi there, everybody. Right, Jasmine and I have decided to show you how to build the ramp. I've had a few requests on how to actually construct this ram pump so you know I'm just a bit of an amateur having a bit of fun and I get but, but I'm going to show you how I put my ram pump up together all right Jasmine should we do it then let's do it Jasmine right on the table here you see laid out all the parts you need basically to make a three quarter inch hydraulic ram pump this is all mainly plastic parts but you can make it out of metal if you want galvanized but this was the cheapest way I found to build it. We've got various pipes. This is a compression joint. You've got elbows, plastic elbows you need. Uh, these unions. I'm not allowed to call them what they are, but they're unions here. Various sorts here. Bits and pieces of rubber connectors, reducers. The only metal bit is this brass swing check valve here. Uh, there's some ball valves for shutting the pump off and turning it on and off basically there we go all these parts are freely available on the internet I got all these off eBay a firm called T-Max supply all these bits all lot cost about 30 quid anyway here we go let's put let's put this baby together right we'll start off with a an elbow here yeah, so onto this elbow that's no, the T not an elbow sorry stop with a T and we screw the elbow on you use PTFE tape, but for a proper watertight seal. Anyway, here we go. Put our elbow on there. There we go. There's our elbow. So that we put a, uh, another union. Screwed. I'm just screwing these on finger tight for now. You can use a pair of water pump pliers later on to tighten everything up. Here we go. Screw that on there. This is your impetus valve. Can we have a look at that? This is a, it's basically called a, a brass swing check valve. Got a bit that moves inside there. Now you must always have the arrow pointing down. See, the, there's already got an arrow, so I have the arrow pointing down for this particular application we're using it for. Let's screw that on there like that. Let's screw this up. There we go. Now, on the next part. It's quite important. On this particular union here, I've drilled a small hole here and I've put a little brass split pin in there. This is your snifter valve. Now this will suck a small amount of air in for charging up your pressure vessel, which I'll explain in a minute. So we'll screw that on like that. It goes on there like that. Screw that on. Finger tight. There we go. No, there's another, there's only two moving parts on the round pump. This is your other, that was the, the swing set valve is your first part. Then you've got, this is a one-way valve. Now I'll just show you quickly what's inside a one-way valve. This is a nice straightforward one. Which I'll do it on the next one, actually. Basically, all it is, in this particular model, like a rubber ball seating on an o-ring can you see that there you go that seats inside there it's free to move up and down and just sits in there it tracks on these three guides here that sits in there like that so basically your water passes up into here but then it can't get back down because the ball seats on the rubber washer stopping the water back flowing in so that's a nice straightforward thing nothing really to go wrong with that that screws onto onto your snifter valve like that there we are and next we need a uh, 
another union that can screw onto there like that so there we go for now and see that next we need another elbow that screws on there like that this is where we're gonna our water's gonna come out of our output so for that we have that's our output basically that screws onto there no, that's not our output that's our output thank you pardon there's our output there make sure we put the right parts on <laughs> there we go and a tap so we can turn it on and off that goes on there like that there we go next I've used this reducer that screws on there like that and onto that we've got a um, this is like a rubber tube it's um three quarter inch that is just pushed over there like that that's not too down we nip that up with a screwdriver jubilee clips holding it on there we go and now for the pressure vessel we've just used like a a water plastic water bottle that you get your sparkling mineral water in or your lemonade or anything like that that goes on there like that and we screw that up there get it up water tight air tight it's coming together almost there now now the um the next bit is another union screws onto there as I say, you put PTFE tape on this stuff to get a good tight seal. Next, another on-off valve, ball valve. That screws on there like that. There we go. And then finally, we've got a compression fitting here. This is a 32mm one. That goes on there like that. Swivel this round where you want it. So your water comes in here, shuts this valve off up there, up through the one-way valve, pressurizes this, and is forced out there. That's the basic components how to build a hydraulic round pump. There she is. And uh, the next video I do, I'll get it running up and running for you. And there we go. That's it. Over and out. Thanks for watching.